is a record label that started in 2016 and the prosecution is saying that the record label is connected to street gang activity. Down involving rapper Young Thug. Police arrested more than two dozen people, including the artist, and accused them of running a violent gang. We were in court. It also goes on to say that YSL is a criminal street gang that started in 2012 off of Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta, and it claims the founder of all of this, the mastermind, was Jeffrey Williams. The Jeffrey I know would take care of my kids. The Jeffrey I know will build a business and create multi-millionaires. The Jeffrey I know will make sure that his nieces and nephews and your nieces and nephews had the opportunity to go to school. So the Jeffrey they're talking about, the Jeffrey they're talking about, I just don't know that. I used to hate that name so much, but now I'm understanding the name. To truly understand the brand known to the world as Young Thug, we got to work backwards and really look at not only the evolution of Jeffrey, the star qualities of Young Thug, the rise of YSL, but we got to work backwards to where it all started. I want to be who I really am. I'm really, I'm really Jeff. I'm Young Thug, aka Jeffrey. I'm John Russell. I'm born there, stayed there, still there. I'm 19, I like red, I like money too. <laughs> when he was featured on a mixtape by Rich Kids, a hundred dollar autograph. And for many of us in Atlanta, that was our introduction to Young Thug. And then what we saw confidence started to match the work ethic. And then he took off. The next thing you know, you're gonna hear about a 10, 15 million dollar deal, man, you know? Live. You're looking at it right now, you're looking at a 10, 15 million dollar deal man, in the future. Pop story is similar to a lot of other artists in Atlanta. You find a way to make it out of harsh conditions. You're handed nothing but hard times. Just to him. Yes. My wife still means young successful life because that's something that he has created. He is a young successful man himself, but also he is helping more young men and young women. He is the one that we're all afraid of. He's the one that's King Slime. He is the most dangerous of the 28 judge. Jeffrey Williams is a father. He is a son. I've also started a company with Jeffrey called Young Stoner Life. I'm going to back him personally and professionally. As the district attorney of Fulton County, my number one focus is targeting gangs. He's like the easy target. So if somebody gets arrested and gets in trouble and they want a deal, law enforcement officers are all too eager to say, well, tell us about Mr. Williams. Is he involved in this? What do you know about it? Level of attention. Mm -hmm. And then culturally, they're going, gang, gang, gang. When I get on the record with them, I go, I am not gang gang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do not gang bang. <laughs> Immediately. Because <laughs> I, I don't like Rico. I don't like conspiracy. Right. <laughs> you know, give me a homicide right now. I'll take a homicide right now before you give me that. Because, look, John Gotti will walk out the courtroom successful three times until they start calling him Teflon Don homicides. And then they come with that Rico. Rico yeah, and then you 23 and 1 Marion. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it get crazy. So like that, that those laws were designed for you not to escape them. You know, so. I'm a defendant, Calvin Brodus, not guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. Now, the most notorious case involving lyrics in courtrooms is Snoop Dogg in 1996, where prosecutors ended up quoting lyrics in his legal case, and more recently, NBA Young Boy's trial, where his music was also brought up in the courtroom by prosecutors, but the judge ended up excluding it as evidence. All those cases are just to name a few. The debate lies between artistic expression and real life experiences, and what it really comes down to is who is interpreting and for what reason. Mondo claims that the district attorney working Young Thug's Rico case used to be a lawyer. 
I'm Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. YSL co-founder Mondo has claimed that the district attorney who is spearheading Young Thug's RICO case was once his lawyer. Mondo, who was not one of the 28 members named in the YSL RICO case, was a guest on the episode of the Ugly Money podcast on Friday, January 20th. During the I'm gonna say this because the same lady who um the Fendi Win uh Fendi uh Willis lady. Fanny Willis. Fanny Willis lady. That was just my lawyer. I got proven facts for this. With everybody, this things I know. Everybody don't see. So wait a minute. Yeah, Fanny Willis, the 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 the, the D, not the D, was she the prosecutor? She's the DA lady. Yeah, the now. DA. The this DA is all was, long... was your was your attorney at one point in time. Yes, this before she turned to be. Wow. With the last case I just fought, I had just got out of jail. Yeah. For I had just got out of jail. The last case I just fought, I was the last case she was doing before she turned to being the uh, DA. So she switched sides. Oh. It's caught in the